This weather outlook is for Monday, July 28th through Wednesday, July 30th. The potential for heavy rainfall will be on the increase as we move into the new work week, with another surge of monsoonal moisture lifting north into the region. This surface weather map is valid for Monday, July 28th. As you can see, we have an area of low pressure near Las Vegas, Nevada, with high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico near Florida. Wind flowing around these two pressure systems will help to draw up abundant subtropical moisture over the next few days. In addition, a strong weather disturbance, not shown in this graphic, will be lifting north late Monday and Tuesday. This disturbance will help to trigger widespread showers and thunderstorms capable of producing heavy rainfall in a short period of time. Thunderstorms will initially favor the mountains, but will spread over and into the valleys during the late afternoon and evening hours. Total rainfall expected over the next few days may exceed two inches across portions of the San Juan Mountains in southwest Colorado. Also take note for the, uh, the potential for heavy rain along the Front Range of Colorado from Colorado Springs south to the New Mexico state line. The heavy rain in western Colorado and eastern Utah may increase the risk for flash flooding, especially near old burn scars, steep terrain, and through slot canyons. So what are we expecting over the next few days? Well, it looks like we will see widespread showers and thunderstorms developing over the mountains during the late morning and early afternoon hours. The showers and thunderstorms will then spread over the valleys later in the day and will likely continue into the late night hours. Heavy rain and frequent lightning will be the main threats from these storms, with flash flooding possible in some areas. There will also be the potential for gusty outflow winds to around 40 miles an hour, along with small hail. Otherwise, winds will generally be light through the period, with temperatures running close to normal for this time of year. With the potential for flash flooding from heavy rainfall on the rise, it is important to know the difference between a watch and a warning. A flood watch is issued when conditions are favorable for flooding or flash flooding to occur. The watch means conditions are favorable, but it does not mean flooding will occur only that it is possible. A flash flood warning means to take action. Now, flooding is either imminent or occurring. If you are in a flood prone area, move to higher ground immediately. A flash flood is a sudden, violent flood that can take from minutes to hours to develop. It is even possible to experience a flash flood in areas not receiving rain. A few flash flood safety tips to remember. Normally dry washes, creeks, streams, arroyos, and slot canyons can become raging rivers within minutes, sometimes seconds. Be prepared to move to higher ground and avoid areas subject to flooding or already flooding. Do not try to cross a flowing stream on foot where water is above your knees. Do not cross flooded roadways as the road underneath may be washed out. Remember, Turn around, don't drown. Do not camp or park your vehicle along streams or washes. Before heading out, check the latest forecast and be prepared to alter your plans. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio, or television. Information from the National Weather Service and other disaster and emergency services may save your life. For the latest weather information, you can visit your closest National Weather Service office website by following one of the URLs linked up on this page. In summary, a very moist and unstable air mass will be spreading over eastern Utah and western Colorado Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This will bring the potential for widespread showers and thunderstorms. The thunderstorms will be capable of producing very heavy rainfall in a short period of time increasing the potential for flash flooding, especially near old burn scars, steep terrain, small creeks, streams, and arroyos, and through slot canyons in southeast Utah. Frequent lightning, small hail, and gusty outflow winds will also occur with the thunderstorms. 
Flash flooding can occur within minutes and you need to make sure you have a plan of action should this develop. Monitor NOAA Weather Radio or follow our website for the most up-to-date weather information. You can also follow us on Facebook. Just do a search for NWS Grand Junction or on Twitter by following the call sign at NWSGJT. This concludes the weather outlook for the July 28th through 30th time frame. Thank you for listening and have a great day.